Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my dear students. Today we are going to learn the last part of our multiplication lesson. And it is about multiplication word problems. In this video, we will see how to solve multiplication word problems and how to understand when we read the word problem that the operation for it is multiplication. So first we will see when do we actually have to multiply. When each group has same number, we use multiplication to find how many in all. Now this means that when there are few groups and each group has the same number, they are equal groups and we need to find out the total that in that case we multiply. Nextly, if we know value for one and we need to find value for many, remember, given one for one and finding for many, then also we use multiplication. And lastly, when you have in word problem questions like, if we simply have to find double, twice or thrice of any quantity, then of course we have to multiply. For double or twice, we multiply the number by two for three times, triple or thrice, we multiply the number by three. Let us see this case. How many eggs do you see? Let us see. You find four trays of eggs and you also see that each tray of egg has six eggs in it. Okay. So basically in order to find out total number of eggs, we will either have to add six four times or simply we can multiply. This is when we use multiplication, when we have equal groups. That means here we have four trays with equal number of eggs. So basically in order to find how many eggs in all, we can simply multiply six with four. Six fours are 24. So we see 24 eggs. Now let us look at this. Find the cost of six chains. What do we see here at the top? There is a chair and each chair is of rupees 80. But we need to find the cost of six chairs. That means this is a case where we know the value of one, but we have to find the value for many. That means we have to find the value for six. So we, will we add 80 six times or we'll go for a shortcut. We know price of one chair is 80 rupees. So price of 6 chairs will be 80 times 6. Again we multiply 80 into 6 rupees 480. Now let us look at this example. Here is Ben and he is 8 years old. And here is Tim, Ben's brother. He says he is twice as old as Ben. We need to find Tim's age. So we know that Tim's age is double that of Ben. And I have told you when we have to find double twice or such uh, times of any quantity, we multiply. So twice here means multiplication by 2. Hence we can say that either we can do 8 plus 8 or simply 8 times 2 is 16. So we can say that Tim is 16 years old. Now these three were simple cases for you my dear students to understand why do we use multiplication in real life applications. Now let us see some word problems and try to solve them. But before we start doing any word problems, it's very important for us to remember dear students that whenever it is repeated addition, it's a clear case of multiplication. Now here we have a word problem. Let us read the words very carefully. Seven limes are needed to make one jug of lime juice. How many limes are needed to make eight jugs of lime juice? So here let us underline this word one. Okay. So seven limes are needed for one jug of lime juice. How many do we have to find for? We have to find for eight jugs. We have been given for one jug and we have to find for eight jugs. So this is a situation. One jug, seven limes are needed. Eight jugs, how many? 
so this is situation given for one and finding for many and i told you for such situations we do multiplication okay so let us understand that here we will have to multiply 8 times 7 okay so 8 sevens are is 56 i hope that is clear and it's important that we remember in the end of a word problem we should give a statement as the answer so the statement is 56 limes are needed are needed to make 8 jugs of lime juice it is very simple dear boys from the last sentence of your word problem you can make the answer you have here how many limes are needed to make 8 jugs of lime juice so instead of how many you can simply put 56 limes and then you can repeat the whole answer 56 limes are needed to make 8 jugs of lime juice here we have a question a postman delivers 235 letters every day how many letters does he deliver in 10 days so if we understand and see the important words they say that the postman is delivering 235 letters every day okay every day each day means that in one day he is delivering 235 letters and here they tell us to find out how many letters does he deliver in 10 days okay so what is important here it is important for us to understand what is given one day he is able to deliver 235 letters so 10 days how many does he have to again it is a case of we know the quantity for one we know in one day 235 letters and we have to find for many okay what do i refer many as 10 days 10 is more right so we have to find for many hence we multiply so basically here we have to multiply 235 with 10 when we multiply that the answer becomes 2350 how does that happen we know 235 into 1 is 235 and 0 in the ones place again let us find out the statement the question says how many letters does he deliver in 10 days so we can say that he delivers 2350 letters in 10 days here is the next question in a grocery store 58 milk cartons can be arranged on a shelf okay shelf are racks okay if there are 26 such shelves how many milk cartons can be arranged let us again see the important words over here they say 58 milk cartons can be arranged on a shelf okay a is same as one they can also say 58 milk cartons can be arranged on one shelf but they use the word a it means the same if there are 26 such shelves there is not only one shelf in that store there are 26 such shelves then we have to find out how many milk cartons can be arranged in all so let us again understand over here we have been given for one shelf and we have to find for 26 shelves okay we can write down like this one shelf 58 cartons 26 shelves how many again it is a case of given for one finding for many we multiply this is the best technique of finding out dear students if we know the quantity for one and we have to find for many it is always multiplication and most of the word problems are of this type so what do we have to do here of course we have to multiply 58 with 26 it's a two digit multiplication and in the previous video you have learned how to multiply that so quickly i will reveal the steps and you can try it on a paper on your own but you can see this when we multiply 6 with 58 we get 4 as a carry over and 348 down as the first product then we put a zero and then we start multiplying with 2 okay we get a carry over 1 over there but the product of 58 into 2 is 116 and then finally we add both the products so the final answer the final product is 1508 so what do we see over here we see that the there are 1508 milk cartons that can be arranged let us write down in a proper statement form 1508 milk cartons can be arranged you can give the answer in a simple statement now there is a question 
a word problem that teacher would like to do with you all let us see this 72 people can sit in one train compartment how many people can sit in a train with 15 such compartments dear boys compartments are sections made in trains okay so let us see the important words here one train compartment can have 72 people so how many people together will be there in 15 compartments so there is a case where we know for one compartment can have 72 people and we need to find for 15 compartments so we have been given for one and we have to find for many again it's a clear case of multiplication we multiply 72 with 15 let us do it first we will do with the digit in the five in the ones place which is 5 so 5 twos are 10 0 here and 1 carried above then 5 sevens are 35 plus 1 36 okay we have finished the multiplication step 1 let us do the step 2 it's important that we put a zero here which shows we have finished the multiplication with the digit in the ones place and now we start with 1 twos are So one twos are two and one sevens are seven. There's an old carry which which will not include, and that is the product of step two. Then finally we add both the products and let us see what will be the answer. Zero plus zero is zero. Six plus two is eight, and three plus seven is ten. So our answer is one thousand eighty. The statement can be written as 1080 people can sit in 15 such compartments i hope that is clear to your students whenever a word problem is given this is the way for you all to do okay the multiplication is the main work it is not the rough work and it should be done very clearly and neatly agar there are some word problems that i want you all to do in your notebook i would like to read one by one all of those There are eight bottles in a carton. How many bottles are there in twelve such cartons? Again, in a carton means you have been given for one, and you have to find for twelve. A clear case of multiplication. Then, a ship that holds one twenty-five people makes six trips from the mainland to an island. How many people in all does it take to the island? Okay, so what do we have here? A ship. one ship can hold 125 people but this ship is making six trips of course in all the trips it will not carry the same people so in first trip it will carry 125 people in second trip it will carry some other 125 people likewise it is making six trips and we have to find in all okay so for one trip 125 people for six trips how many okay we have been given for one and we need to find for many it's a clear case of multiplication we multiply 125 with 6 next question you see suraksha has 120 stamps in her collection her brother amit has double that number so suraksha's collection has 120 stamps amit is having double of that and i told you when you have to find double twice of any number we simply multiply the number by 2 So how many stamps is Amit have? The answer can be found by multiplying 120 with 2. Next fourth question: A box of sweets contains 32 sweets. So a box is containing 32 sweets. 32 sweets in one box. How many sweets are there in nine such boxes? So we have been given for one, and we have to find for many. Again, a clear case of multiplication. And the last one. Each row in the school auditorium has 75 seats. So each row again means one single row is having 75 seats. If total there are 32 rows, then how many seats are there in all? So we know the number that there are 75 seats in one row. We have to find total how many seats will be there in 32 rows. A case of multiplication here we will have to find. by multiplying 75 with 32 a two digit multiplication do it carefully all these five sums shall be done in your notebook so with this we finish chapter number 3 dear students and you all are very bright and i'm definitely sure you are able to even do the word problems very easily best of luck and thank you